Have you ever seen a house built on sand? Have you, ever, have you ever seen grass growing on a lump of clay? Have you ever grown a flower in a pot of sand or silt? Probably not. And the reason why is because good soil is composed of all three of those things. Silt, sand, and clay. Uh, so, in this experiment, what we're going to do uh, is put some dirt that I got out of the garden and some sand, which I got from Blue Lake Park near the Columbia River. Uh, we're going to put them together in this glass of water and see if we can separate them again once we've mixed them all up. So, we'll take a little bit of sand. And a little bit of dirt. See that good Oregon dirt? And then we'll, this is not really the scientific way to do this, but mix them up. And you can see that's a pretty, pretty cloudy mixture, but you can see already it looks like the sand has started to go to the bottom and some of the dirt um, is beginning to settle on top of it. So usually whenever you mix something up like this, you're able to separate the particles based on size. Now we know that sand particles tend to be bigger. Uh, and that's good for allowing water to filter through and things to keep the soil from being stagnant. Uh, we know that silt particles are, the, are smaller than sand particles, uh, hold some of the nutrients and are, tend to be more stable. And then clay particles are the smallest particles of all. Uh, and they hold lots of nutrients and things like that. Uh, but if soil is really clay, it's really hard then to plow it because it becomes really tough. If you've ever found clay soil, you're going to have a hard time farming it. So the best kind of soil actually for growing things is called loam. L-O-A-M. Part sand, about 40%. Part silt, about 40%. And part clay, about 20%. Uh, <clears throat> but um, you also need uh, soil for other things, other purposes. Sometimes you want to build a house on soil. Uh, you probably don't want loam then. You probably like a soil that's maybe pretty silty, um, not too much sand because that tends to shift a lot, and not too much clay because that also tends to shift a lot. Um, so different soils have different purposes. So this is a way to see what is in your soil. So I'm going to put this down next to two that I already mixed up. Uh, so you can see, and I'm going to actually put the light on these so you can see it really good. You can see how the particles have mixed up in these. Excuse me. Okay. So the one on the left is just regular soil uh, uh, by itself that I took out of my garden. So you can see some of the bigger particles, sandy particles on the bottom. Now the one in the middle, the one or the next one over, is I mixed with the sand from Blue Lake Park with my own soil. And you can see there's a lot more sand now in it uh, than in the original one. So you can see that how those filtered out. And then you can see the one that I just mixed up starting to starting to filter out there, but not uh, quite done yet. So thanks. And just remember, soil rocks. <laughs>